Many years after Joshua and his generation passed away, the Israelites began to turn away from God and instead worship graven images or false gods. They forgot how God helped and saved their ancestors from the enemies. And because they worshiped idols, the Lord became angry with them. He allowed them to be defeated by their enemies. However, because of the covenant or agreement that God had made with their ancestors, He chose leaders who would defend them. Those leaders were called judges. God appointed them to save the Israelites from their enemies. But whenever a judge whom God had placed would pass away, the people would forget their covenant with the Lord and go back to worshiping false gods. They did not fulfill their promise to serve and worship the Lord God alone. Because of their disobedience, God became furious with the Israelites. He said, Because they have not obeyed me, I will no longer drive out any of the nations that were still in the land when Joshua died. I will use them to find out whether or not these Israelites will follow my ways as their ancestors did. But although Israel continued to disobey God, he continued to send them judges. One of them was a woman named Deborah, a prophetess. God gave prophets the task of speaking unto his people the words he placed in their mouth. Once when King Jabin of the Canaanites threatened to attack Israel, the judge Deborah called for an Israelite named Barak and told him to take 10,000 men to fight the enemy. Barak did exactly as he was told. Afterwards, Deborah and Barak went off to face the Canaanite force that was led by a man named Sesera, the commander of King Jabin's army. The Lord helped Barak defeat the Canaanites. When the Israelites attacked, the Lord threw Sesera and the Canaanite army into confusion. Although they tried to flee, his men were pursued and killed by Barak's men. Seeing the Canaanites being defeated, Sesera got down from his chariot and fled on foot. But he, too, was later killed. The Israelites conquered their enemies. They triumphed because they trusted in God's help and not in their own abilities. Just like Barak and the Israelites, we should also trust in what God can do for us.